Central Ohioans are facing another day below freezing with things feeling colder because of all the wind out there. Storm Team 4 Chief Meteorologist Dave Mazza is joining us now with a first look at your most accurate forecast. Well, the good news is we're missing out on a lot of the snow that our friends just the immediate north are getting this evening and through the uh, last uh, 24 hours and we'll get this weekend. You notice live Viper radar as we scan the skies. It is quiet back at home tonight, but it is a cold night outside as temperatures are still this evening just hovering barely into the uh, 30s to upper 20s across most of the area. You notice our readings right now sitting at 28 here in the city. We have some low 30s down towards the south, and these numbers are going to continue to dip as we head through the evening hours tonight with that wind slowly starting to settle down. But again, with readings falling into the middle 20s out ahead of midnight, wind chills will be in the middle teens. We will track a cool start to the weekend. I'm going to say cool because it's going to get colder as we head through the weekend. We'll track that for you as well coming up in just a few minutes. In the morning tomorrow, we could have wind chills in the single digits to start the day off uh, it's still November right like it, it I know it, it feels, feels like, like January. January yeah it totally does we have a lot of hatred for January we do it's <laughs> the worst month of the year it really is. it's long and it's miserable we and it's gray skip most of January and February and go right into March when it starts to improve live viper radar is quiet tonight uh, you notice though across the region we still got that lake effect snow machine going across Lake Erie Ontario and Lake Michigan this evening and we've got a couple of uh, weather systems that are going to continue to kind of zip around the lakes over the next few days but uh, Winter Nation tower camera is quiet tonight it is cold outside mid to upper 20s for most of the readings at this point uh, coldest reading down in Athens and uh, 24 Washington Courthouse down to 21 right now you notice those wind chill values in the lower to middle teens in spots to the west 15 in Courthouse 13 in Bell Fountain 14 in Marion and Mount Gilead and 19 here in the city so clearing skies going to pull that blanket away temperatures will continue to fall tonight most of us on our way to the upper teens here in town I think we'll stay around 20 to start the morning off, but we're still going to have that breeze in the morning tomorrow, so wind chills will fall into the upper single digits, the lower teens to start the morning off, and the winds will actually pick up through the day on Saturday. So even though it is going to be a milder-ish kind of day, and I say that very hesitantly, um, it is going to feel colder though because of that wind outside. We will get some sunshine back around tomorrow and then tomorrow evening we're going to watch a little front push through our area. It may bring some snow showers up by US 30, but for the most part it is just going to reinforce colder air, even colder air as we head into the day on Sunday. So as I mentioned, tonight is going to be a cold night. Most of us dropping into the upper teens for overnight lows. You factor in that wind and we're going to have a lot of areas that drop into the single digits for wind chills right before sunrise tomorrow morning. I think we'll drop to about 11 here in the city for the morning wind chill temperature. As we head through the day tomorrow, numbers will get back up to around 30 by noon and should top at about 34. But again, sunshine's not going to help us much because that wind is going to make it feel colder like it's in the teens at best or in the 20s at best through the day tomorrow. And once we get that front to push through tomorrow night, numbers will get colder for Sunday, a high of just 30 on Sunday. That'll be the coldest, and then we start to recover. We'll get back into the mid-40s on Monday, upper 40s, kind of a breezy day on Tuesday. For the big travel day ahead of Thanksgiving Wednesday, should be a nice one, in fact, 50 for the high Wednesday, which is going to feel really warm after this weekend. We will see showers returning late on Turkey Day Thursday and into Black Friday with our next approaching cold front.